Today is September 17th, and this is your One Minute News. Jobless claims came in today and were actually lower than expected at 860,000. Facebook censors pro-Trump ad on Biden about raising taxes, saying the claim was mostly true, but also not completely true. Hurricane Sally death toll so far is at one. Federal Reserve won't raise interest rates until 2023, it looks like. Chris Rock's quote is going viral because he blames the Democrats for the pandemic and calls Trump a five-year-old. And traces of poison, a Novichok nerve agent, was found in Nelvaney's hotel room water bottle that he drank from. And today in history, in 1862, the Battle of Antietam starts near Antietam Creek in the bloodiest single-day American military battle in history. And that is your one minute news. Guys, I have something I, honest I need to say. This news cycle today wasn't the best. And because there wasn't any good news out there. I'm not going to say things about, there was like so many quotes about celebrities saying this and like, um, oh, I can't believe this person said this, like stuff that doesn't matter. And and the news right now is scraping to make a 24-hour cycle. So my promise to you, if there isn't any news that really matters, like I almost didn't even say the Chris Rock quote because who cares? I mean, people are only excited about it because they either said something they like or that fits their narrative where they go, oh, yeah, get him, Chris Rock. See, even Chris Rock says that. Like, <laughs> I am not going to just give you guys crap. Okay, I'm not going to just tell you things that either fit in a narrative for narrative's sake, um, but I'm going to say things that I feel are important. Like the Facebook ad seems important because it's important that they're censoring people uh, about it not being 100% true. And even though we know who the type of people that work the fact checkers, it's easy to have bias when you're fact checking people. Um, and I thought the Hurricane Sally thing was good, and the Federal Reserve thing was interesting, and the poison on Nelvaney's drink uh, is interesting because, you know, the claiming that Putin is the one that did it. So I thought that all those things were interesting, and I almost just went to town on uh, history today because it's the bloodiest battle on American soil, which is very interesting to me. Um, I love history. I don't know if you guys do. Um, but... I'm not going to just tell you guys, I mean, people are talking about the AVN awards, like, like it matters, who cares? I don't, I, I want to give you guys things that will make you go on to the day, you know, make you, I feel like I know what's going on in the world, and then I just go from there. That's what I want to start, and I want to get better at that, and I feel like I am getting better at that because I can just, now when I wake up in the morning before I go to work and just read through hours of news for you guys for free, just for funsies, because I can't stand the media and how just ridiculous they make your day become because they lose their minds about silly little topics because they want you to watch their news program so that you can see their commercials and they can get paid and that's why they are multimillionaires and you and I aren't over nothing. So my promise to you is to continue to fight for just the basics uh, of what you need to know of, uh, of the day um, and, and that's all. Um, I'm not going to if there's something that seems very conspiracy theorist or if it's like uh, allegations or, you know, this cop did this, but we're still um, looking into it. I'm not going to report on things that we don't know yet and uh, just to fit a new cycle. So you, I, if, you're all, if you ever look at my news and you're wondering, how come he didn't say that? Because it's not true yet. And we don't know for a fact, we just know these few things. I'm not going to say stuff like that because I think the media has manipulated us into be making us insane because they take little snippets of truth, like Facebook censored. Facebook should be censoring the media, even though I don't think they should because I think they're all one-sided leaning. Anyways, uh, they... They take these little snippets and then they make hours and hours of content off that one snippet. 
and that's it. And then I've also heard comments about my news saying, well, it's only one time during the day. I watch the news all day long. They talk about stuff I bring up in the morning from three days ago today. So I can promise you this. The news cycle is scraping for actual news, and they will just, you know, it's like, a what's that proverb of a dog going to its own vomit and licking it up like it's new? That's what the news does. They, they throw up, and then they go, oh, wait, this is new. Uh, <laughs> gross. Okay, I'm sorry I'm off on a little rant right now, but I needed to say that because in case you guys wonder why I pick the stories I pick, I feel like I try to pick the stories that actually matter for you to know today. Um, and that's, I, and yes, that is the bias I bring to it, that I pick what I feel like is important. I don't feel like celebrities' quotes about what's going on in politics or, or you know, climate change or, or what any kind of celebrity thing, I don't care, and I don't think you should care, and I don't think it affects you and I, and it shouldn't affect you and I, but it's... But yet it ends up on the news like it's this big breaking story. Who cares? They don't care what I say. They don't care what you say. So why should we care what celebrities say? You can quote me on that. <laughs> Have a fantastic Thursday, people. Get your bonus questions into me. Uh, Friday is tomorrow. I'm going to try to do the bonus question, bonus, uh, bonus, bonus edition tomorrow. Uh, email me at the one minute news, all one word, at gmail.com. Or you can comment below if you're watching a video. Um, but I appreciate you. Have a fantastic Thursday. It's Friday Eve, people. Enjoy today. There's something magical about a Thursday because you can just, you almost can feel the weekend coming. You know what I mean? Have a fantastic Thursday, people. Goodbye. <laughs>